Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing a little kitchen organization. I was really excited to bring this video to you because I have been organizing like a mad woman in the kitchen. Um, so we're gonna start with the refrigerator. Um, my refrigerator is pretty organized except for the middle drawer. Um, that middle drawer right there, right below the doors, is a source of uh, anxiety for me. Every time I open it up, um, I just feel like I can't find anything and I have to dig through all this random food and it's honestly been driving me crazy. Um, so I finally decided to get it organized. So I just took everything out and I took inventory of what was in there because I have a tendency to, to forget because there's just so much stuff. Um, I wanted to see what's expired and see if there was anything that was going bad and throw that away. And then I gave it a good wipe down before I started to organize it. I found these really cool little white baskets at the Dollar um, Tree and it was perfect for that drawer, just the size of it. They're kind of flimsy, but they don't need to be super uh, sturdy or anything. I just needed something to um, separate the food items. So once I put all the food back, this was the result. And what a difference from how it was before. I've got all my cheeses on in one basket, some yogurt. Um, basically what's in this drawer is stuff that we need to eat um, right away or that we need that we eat often. So I just like to grab stuff out of that drawer. Next is like cooking oils and spices and stuff. There's a cabinet right above the stove top and I like to grab oils and spices from there but honestly it's so unorganized that I hate digging around for spices um, and yeah it was just causing me a lot of <laughs> unneeded stress and I realized there was a small little drawer here that was not being utilized well at all. It had a bunch of knickknacks and really nothing in it. So I emptied everything out and I put in this nice little drawer drawer liner from the Dollar Tree and I put all my spices in this drawer. And look how neat and organized. I can see everything very clearly. I don't have to dig around in that little cabinet. And now I can just grab my oils, um, like the coconut oil and extra virgin olive oil um, that I use sometimes very, very easily and it's just accessible now. So my kitchen pantry is this huge cabinet right here. I don't have a separate pantry. Um, so this is what we have. And basically it just has a lot of shelves in there. Um, it's not well organized um, the way I would like it. Um, but for the most part, those red baskets from the Dollar Tree are just helping me to keep all the cooking oils and sauces and you know soy sauce and rice cooking oils and all that kind of stuff in there and then the rest of the drawers have random stuff um, that I need to clear out and as you can see I've got some rice milk in that bottom one and just a lot of random things that I just tend to throw in there and I couldn't take it anymore um, yeah there's some broth right there some tea and coffee stuff and just things being all over the place and there I also had some random things as well that's a bag of jasmine rice some pasta um, some spam <laughs> and some Korean instant noodles and a bottle of vinegar I don't know why that's in there so yeah that cabinet needed some help so after a good little wipe down I'm gonna go ahead and put things in a more orderly fashion and just taking everything out. It kind of surprised me just how much stuff I had in there. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it was. And I remembered I had these little Dollar Tree drawer uh, containers and I thought it would be perfect to put my tea bags in. And because my tea bags were all over the place in boxes, I did stop drinking tea. So um, another drawer that was not being utilized well was this one and just had random recipes and stuff in there and I decided I'm gonna make this drawer my tea and coffee drawer and yeah 
put anything that's related to tea or coffee in this drawer so that I can access it fairly easily and just um, have a sense that everything's just better organized and yeah that's a little coffee scooper and my matcha whisker. I found a little bag of stevia packets that I like to sweeten my coffee and teas with sometimes and it just is so much better. It made me feel so good to open this drawer and see everything so nicely organized and it was pretty life-changing. I mean talk about feeling like on a high about something is when you organize and and this going back to the kitchen pantry here um, this drawer was the snack drawer and cereal drawer and it just had like clipped bags and just chips and all kinds of things so I decided I'm gonna try to put most of this stuff in containers um, the long one um, on the left is a cereal container from Ikea and the two short ones are the OXO uh, pop-up containers or pop containers I believe they're called um, those were more pricey um, and definitely I will be purchasing more in the future as an investment but to buy a bunch at one time is just way too expensive so I just started out with three and here I'm just putting um, some snacks in there and I love that when you press down on that top thing the button it makes it airtight so it keeps the food fresh so if you're interested in, in that I can link below and also the um, pull out um, drawers right there. This, they're by Simple Human. I got them off of Amazon. If you're interested in those, I can link those in the description box below as well. It just makes life so much easier to be able to pull out the drawer and be able to see everything that's in the back. So I really, really like those. They're really nice, very sturdy. And yeah, this is this pantry is starting to look a lot nicer. Um, definitely more organized than before. And I also got this container from Ikea it's by um, no it's called the Variera container and I decided I'm gonna put my baked stuff baking stuff in there and just put all the all the things related to baking in one place because when I do decide I want to bake something I can just go ahead and you know take the whole bin out and it, it's easy to pull the bin out because of the two little handles on the sides and it just makes life a lot easier. So, you know, baking soda, vanilla extract, some chocolate chips, some walnuts, and the bigger items I just left back there. Bigger things that I don't really use that much. So I'll put it right there in the front and when it's time for me to bake, I can just pull it right out. I actually also remembered that I had some spatulas and some measuring spoons and I also, um, Put those right in there but look how um, organized everything is it's just it's just so nice and there's the measuring spoons I, I figured I might as well just put it in there because that's the only time I really ever pull those kitchen tools out anyway so that's pretty much it guys that is my kitchen organizing that I've done so far I hope this inspired you to get organized and I'll catch you in the next video thanks bye